Okay, so now we are, I'm back. Turn that up. Turn. Check one, two. Okay, so. Welcome back, everybody, and sorry about that technical issue. Yeah, I think it, I think I accidentally had the. Um, I I think I ac accidentally had the wrong microphone picking up all the material. So uh, my apologies. Yeah, that was uh, that was a, a screw up on my part. There's a lot of buttons to hit, man, and I'm I was like uh, I'm also working on a real estate deal. At the same time, so I'm 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 going to confess I'm like seriously di distracted, and oh, I think I think the what time did I do that? I think I said nine o'clock. So where are we at? Nine minutes left. Okay, so yeah, I think that's what happened. Is I clearly had the wrong microphone happening, but it's unfortunate I've changed all my previously really good settings. So we'll. Okay, so I'm going to play a song. Um, I'll do a Billy Joel song. You know, everybody, we like Billy Joel. To get everybody back on board, Billy Joel. Billy Joel here. Um, oh, this is one of the songs that I've always loved singing. She's got a way about her Don't know what it is I know that I can't live without her And she's got a way of pleasing Don't know what it is I know there doesn't have to be a reason anyway And she's got a smile that heals me Don't know why it is I have to laugh when she reveals me And she's got a way of talking Don't know what it is But it lifts me up when we are walking away She comes to me when I'm feeling down, inspires me without a sound. She touches me, and I get turned around. Oh, yeah. comes to me when I'm feeling down, inspires me without a sound. She kisses me and I get turned around. Yeah, 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 yeah. And she's got a way of showing how I make her feel. I find the strength to keep on going And she's got a light around her Yeah, 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 yeah And everywhere we go A million dreams of love surround her anyway
Okay, Billy Joel, she's got away. Now I think we're working, cooking with gas here. Um, okay, so I got to deal with this offer now. So they want with the bully offer. They had a previous bully offer, and exactly I knew that would happen. They'd come back. Uh, let's see. So talk to my client. I'll text him. Do you want to come up? Do you want to come up? Their bully offer is their previous bully is back in play. It's like to playground talk, man. Bully is he gives like live drama here. Is back in play. Oh, I should put a question mark there. There we go. Yeah, I'm working at the same time I'm doing this, but you know, I'm committed to doing this every night, so I'm just multitasking here. So let's see what happens. And let's see. Let's see. Okay, how much are we talking? How much? You can never ask exactly how much, but it never hurts to ask. How much are we talking? Let's see what happens. Okay. Okay, so let's see what happens with that. Uh, if I figure this out, if I sort this out, uh, then I'll have a glass of wine after it's all over. Oh, sorry, let me turn that off. Okay, so now we'll see. I think, I'm so sorry, I had the wrong mic input. When you start Facebook Live, you gotta say, what camera, what mic, and clearly I had the wrong one, the wrong mic input set up. And so now it's working, and now you get to follow me through a deal uh, this evening, and uh, when the deal is over, when the deal is over, when the deal is done, then I'm gonna uh, have a cocktail. Yes, people are still buying and selling now. Let's go back to uh, song requests here. Let's see. Um, Bruce Clark, dinner at Sassafras with DJ Johans. Yeah, I used to play at Sassafras, uh, Bruce, and they fired me. Uh, they fired my ass. Apparently, I took too many smoking breaks, is what he told me. I don't smoke. So I'll leave it at that. One of my uh, favorite stories I told it the first night I was playing, uh, didn't know that I had the Greek consulate there. And, oh, that's a beautiful song, Autumn Leaves. We'll do that. I'm just going to give you the instrumental.
Autumn Leaves. There's so many ways to play that song, and I just included a few uh, variations of that piece. If you ever want to uh, hear an incredible piano player, check out uh, Keith Jarrett playing Autumn Leaves. Uh, I have, I'm, I've always have Keith Jarrett on my sound system because he is a, I've listened to him my whole life and he's a huge inspiration. He, uh, one of the best concerts was in the, I think it was in 73 or 74, he, um, he played a solo piano concert, which became huge influence on all kinds of uh, uh, new age musicians. It was a clone, colon, colon concert, it's K-O-L-N, if you ever look it up, it's just him doing solo piano. I think he was in his early uh, 20s when he played that, and the piano was not that great. It has become a signature recording. So solo piano, Keith Jarrett, the Cone concerts, uh, check that out. It's wonderful. I think it was in 1974 it was recorded. So now back to some some David Johans. Uh, let me see. I'm trying to think of a good song. I'm looking at a different artist here. I'll do a, I know what song. I played this the other night. Everybody likes this song. It's a beautiful piece. Waited till I saw the sun I don't know why I didn't come Left you by the house of fun I don't know why I didn't come When I saw the break of day I wish that I could fly away Instead of kneeling in the sand Catching tea drops in my hand My heart is drenched in wine And you'll be on my mind forever out across the endless sea I would die in ecstasy But I'll be a bag of bones and Driving down the road alone My heart is drenched in wine And you'll be on my mind forever out across the endless sea I would die in ecstasy that'll be a bag of bones driving down the road alone my heart is drenched in wine and you'll be on my mind forever something has to make you run don't know why I didn't come but I'll feel as empty as a drum I don't know why I didn't come Don't know why I didn't come Don't know why Don't know why I didn't 
That is, uh, why do I suddenly forget her name? Nora Jones. Nora, beautiful Nora Jones piece. Sorry, I am, I am, I am directed because I got to work on this. Um, I'm working at the same time, multitasking. What does she say? I can't say how much, but if you can improve, make this happen, another, should increase. she will increase price unless it was very reasonable. I'm looking to start a new chapter moving. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, I have to call my friend, Sam. Because he's not he's answering my text. So we're I'm doing business. The business call now. Everybody hang tight. Um, sometimes everything much better audio. Yeah, that's because I mic is a little hotter than the piano. Okay, so we'll turn up the we'll turn up the piano. Uh, turn down the. There, there we go. Um, so I got to call my friend Sam. See if he answers, he'll answer. So this is like this is like a real estate show. I'm you know, can see what happens here. Hey Sam, it's Dave. How are you? So they uh they're gonna realist if they don't get their price. So my question my question is to you, what do you want to take a run at it for? I mean, I think they want to get what the other unit sold for in the building, which is uh, round six. I sent you the comps uh, earlier. Yeah, that was the one that sold, I think, is 590. So that, that could do it. I agree. But it was, so, you know, you could wait till they relist and then, you know. Uh, she she basically said this. She said, if, uh, if it doesn't, uh, if they don't get their price, she didn't say that. She didn't say that. Uh, she said, if it doesn't get their price, they just want to see what the unit looks like. And she said, um, uh, it's up to you. I don't know. I'm not going to see what the unit looks like. see what happens with that sorry guys that was work you know uh stephanie oh no that's christy stewart oh stephanie I, you know i should be asking stephanie to give me some advice on this deal right now hi stephanie and hello everybody and my apologies i'm working and playing piano at the same time this is a great way to do real estate will you i should actually call the listing agent and sing my uh my response to her 
Let's see, we'll let's see that that's happened, like just for shits and giggles. I mean, that would just be way too fun. Why not, right? Let's see if I can get her on the phone. I don't know how much of this conversation should be private. You know, nobody else is supposed, you don't know the unit, so what does it matter? Hello? Hi, it's David, how are you? Hi, David, good, how are you? Good, I have you on speakerphone if that's okay, and I'm sitting by my piano, are you cool with that? Okay, because I thought I'd sing to you that my client doesn't want to come up anymore. Sorry. Uh, so yeah, that's where we're at. I sent you a text. And yeah, so uh, let me know. And I just sent the, the reasons why in the text. But you can uh, get back to me this evening. Or he, he's, he's just, he's not, I guess... That's his rationale, so I'll leave it at that and let y your client figure out what you guys want to do. Are they, um, like, are they putting... Oops, I just, I just hung up on her. Damn it. Sorry about that. Hi, sorry about that. No, she's going to be living there. His mom, it's for his mom. Yeah. Why don't you, well, I'm just on because I'm just uh, I'm actually doing a uh, live piano gig online. I know it's kind of crazy, so I'm, <laughs> I'm very much multitasking right now. Uh, so why don't you? Yes. So why don't you get back to me? He said, "Lodge." I just te texted you his reasons for not wanting to move on it, and then let your client know and give respond with a logical reason why you think it should be higher. And, Okay. No, I didn't. We didn't. We only saw it online, of course. But I mean, it's, you know, usually technically things on a higher floor, like 19 is really high. And, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> She can come come back with the price, and then I'll see. You know, back with the number, and then I'll see if he goes for it. Yeah. Mhm. Mm I appreciate that. Okay, no, I can appreciate that. Okay, well, let me, what do you, what's going to do with it? What's the number? You can make it happen, I can assure you of that. What would you relist at? He's a super nice guy, and, and you know, his mom is very sweet. She's from Thailand, and so, and yeah, well, he's not living with her, but he's going to be on title. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, they both came.
Well, I guess you're gonna have to pick that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what song do you want me to play for you? I'm gonna put you back on speakerphone. What song do you want me to? What song do you want me to play for you? It sounds like jazz. Yeah, I could play anything. What do you want? You want a you want a pop song? I have many. I have many. Name name your favorite artist. Okay. How about uh, do you want an Elton John song? Like, do you like Elton John? Don't know Chris Rhea. Chris Rhea or even like Neil Diamond. Neil Diamond? Neil, I could, Neil Diamond. You're, you're an old school girl. I like that. Um, uh, yeah, because that's very, okay. Okay, I'll, I'll try that song. I'll look it up and see what I could do, okay? <laughs> All right. All right, cheers. All right. Uh, we're still in the ballpark. Uh, Coldplay. Oh, we could do Coldplay. I'm going to text my client and let him know. So this is really fun. I'm doing uh, live uh, negotiating and piano playing at the same time. Uh, so, hello, period. Apparently, the other place showed real poorly and was tenanted for a long time. Period. So, it needs a lot of work. Period. I asked them to sign back at a number. That'll work for them, period. So we'll see what happens. Okay, time for some music. I should just put a piano in the office. Uh, live from Australia, Aaron, look, Karen Ann is bringing everybody from uh, all over the world, all these sailors, which is awesome. So let's see. I was going to do... Um, what song was I going to do? I was going to do a Coldplay tune. I played this song before. It's pretty much, I think it's the only Coldplay song that I could really do decently. Uh, he's got such an awesome voice, that guy. Higher than mine, and it's got a really unique quality to it. Okay, hi Aaron from Australia. You are a rock upon which I stand, and I came here to talk, and I hope you'll understand. Green eyes, yeah, the spotlight. Shines upon you, and how could you feel so much lighter now? I came here. Upon which I have flowed And I came here to talk And I think you should know
upon which I flow And I came here to see And if I I love playing that song. It's so beautiful. Some songs I just love playing. You know, it's like putting on the gloves, man. That's one of them. And every time you play it, you know, it becomes more, it goes into your consciousness. It becomes, you know, part of you. Now, I haven't done this song in a while. Uh, let's see. see what's going to happen. So, yeah, uh, so that little interchange with the uh, listing agent, let me tell you something I learned that's very important. Oh, yeah, Leonard, hallelujah, we can do that. Is, uh, and if, it's funny, if she was watching now, she'd be knowing how I was strategizing, but I don't think she's watching. So we've got thir over 30 people so far, that's pretty good. Um, Always get the other agent to sign back with a number because if you just verbally give them a number, they're going to go back to whatever buyer they got on the table and then use your offer to leverage against the other guy, blah, blah, blah. And then you're just going to use your fresh meat. You're just a number. You're, you're just going to be chopped up on that offer table, man. Sliced and diced. So if they put their signature back on it and sign back, that means they're locked in. The dance begins with you and nobody else can cut in. That's, that's the way it works. All right? That's my little uh, real estate anecdote for this evening so far. I'm probably going to come up with more. So here's a Bowie song. Did you ever go see the Bowie exhibit? It was fantastic. Ignition and may God loves be with you. This is ground control to Major Town. You really made the grade, and the papers want to know what shirts you wear. And it's time to leave the capsule if you dare. This is ground control to Major Town. I'm stepping through the door. And I'm floating in the most peculiar way. And the stars look very different today. Hey. And here am I sitting in a tin can.
across a hundred thousand miles I'm feeling very still And I think that my spaceship knows which way to go I tell my wife I love her very much She knows Control to Major Tom Your circuit's dead There's something wrong Can you hear? Tin can far, far moon and planet up is blue and there's nothing I can do David Bowie. Don't worry, it's not COVID. I coughed. Everybody so terrified now when you cough. Sometimes when you sing and you inhale the wrong way, uh, anyways, you cough. So a little bit of Bowie there. I love the playing that song. Some of these songs are kind of challenging for me to sing because, uh, yeah, it's, uh, well, it gets a little high, man, like that song. That song is, uh, let's see, oh yeah, I've got it on my set list. So somebody said, Gord, um, oh, my dad asked for Somewhere Over the Rainbow. I can play that song. And it's lovely to have my dad here. Maybe my mother's listening to I don't know. Uh, hi, Mom and Dad, hope you stay safe. Hope everybody stays safe. Uh, it's just a very surreal time we're all living in. And I, I find, I, I've discovered a lot of my friends are, are indulging in this uh, live music session, virtual performance session, and it's, it's a lot of fun. Like, I gotta say, this <clears throat> very much fills my spiritual cup as well. And, uh, you know, it's really given me something to do because I, it's, there's, there's actually a lot to figure out, like, how this all works. Okay, we got a text. Uh, okay. Oh, that's the, they want to send me this to the other, okay, all right, so, I guess so, well, you know, okay, I'll send it after, if they send it back, I'll send it, thanks, there, I'll forward it, all right, <laughs> yeah, it doesn't look good, <clears throat> There you go. 19th floor up, though. Don't you want it? Let's not all forget to sign up for the fabulous entertainment. That uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I've got a tip jar on here. I don't know if you can see it. I haven't poured a glass of wine yet. It's unbelievable. Yeah, it's because I'm, uh, when I'm negotiating, I mean, you really shouldn't uh, be drinking cocktails. You know, just saying. Be a professional. Okay, so uh, somewhere over rainbow. Let me find that song. Artist, tabs, okay. So let's go home here, Somewhere Over the Rainbow. That's a beautiful song. <coughs> Many artists have covered that piece. Here it is, right at the top of the list. I didn't know Eric Clapton did that song. Interesting. Okay, let's, uh, let's see, simplify. Simplify. Now, uh, let's see, what song, what key am I going to, I'm always interesting, this is, what key am I, let's see. Somewhere over the rainbow. Yeah, I could try it and see, I guess. Um, okay, so we'll try that. We'll try it and see. Up, up, up. Pop. Okay.
somewhere over the rainbow upon a star and wake up where the clouds are far behind me where troubles melt like lemon drops and far away the chimney tops that's where you Somewhere over the rainbow, blue birds fly. Birds fly over the Why, oh why? Day I'll wish upon a star and wake up where the clouds are far behind me. Where lemon drops like kidney cops and far away above the chimney tops. That's where you, that's where you find me. And that dream that you dare to dream, oh, it really, it really does come. That is a very gorgeous song it's for my father. Mr. Merlohans requested that. So kudos to him for making that fantastic song selection. And uh, this is a good time to keep on dreaming, man. I mean, uh, Legendary Mary joint. That's a great name. Legendary Mary. Who's Legendary Mary? I mean, the legend joint. Is Laura Fairweather. Laura. Now, I know. Laura, let's talk some stories, baby. You know. 
The parent loop was t uh, tenanted too. Oh yeah. Uh, okay, was also tenanted. Also tenanted. Yeah, I'm doing work at this same. They are signing back a number. They are signing back a number. This is hilarious. All right, let's see what happens with that. Hi, Laura. So Laura and I, uh, we know each other. Uh, I used to play at the Fairmont. Oh, yeah, it was the Fairmont. The, in Whistler, I played there for, I think, six or seven years. And they even gave me, I had a room there. It was like live in large, baby. Uh, and we skied like 40 days a year on that hill, which is why I don't ski here. I mean, seven years of Whistler and Blackcomb, and then you go to Blue Mountain. Like, seriously, it's like skiing down a zit on your face. Uh, it's not gonna, it's not gonna happen uh, here. Oh boy, I got a low battery happening. I gotta, I'm gonna plug in my phone while I'm, uh, hang tight. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna plug phone and then I've thought of another song. I'm gonna do a Nat King Cole song. Laura's, Laura's always used to ask for uh, uh, Fly Me to the Moon. I remember that, yeah. I still have imported this wine. So I hope everybody there is having a cocktail that you guys are all, you know. So this is a, a wonderful song by Nat King Cole. I'm not sure how I'm going to start this. Oh, yeah, I'll start it like that. There was a boy. A very strange enchanted boy They say he wandered very far, very far Over land and sea A little shy and sad of eyes Very wise was he Magic day, he came my way, and as we spoke of many things, fools and kings, this he said to me, the greatest thing you'll ever learn is just to love. You got to remember this line. The greatest thing is just to be loved in return was a boy, a very strange enchanted boy, they say he wandered very far, very far over land and sea, a little shy and sad of eyes, very wise was he. of many things, fools and kings, this he said to me, you're the greatest thing you'll ever learn, is just to love and be loved in
great thing is to love and be loved in return. I mean, all of these songs give us great advice, and that is a message in that song. I just saw Donovan is here. Hey, Donovan, another fantastic piano player, and, and I've been watching his uh, live shows. He's doing a piano player. So this is what's so cool. All these musicians, a lot of the guys I know are doing these uh, virtual these uh, concerts right out of our home. This is my home. I keep it dark in the back so you can't see the mess. <clears throat> And my mother may be watching, and I can assure you she's going to make a comment if she is about that. But, you know, it's uh, Sting. Oh, yeah, we could do a Sting song. I, I like that idea. <clears throat> Sting would be cool. See what, uh, oh, yeah, I can't check my messages because my phone is charging. Ah, okay. So, uh, oh, I, I know a song by Sting that I like. Let's see. Search results. I want to get out of search results. Boom. Artists. There's a. I love Sting. The Police. Like, <clears throat> what a what a power trio those guys were when they, that came out of the whole punk, scene. Oh yeah, Laura wanted me to do. Uh, the her the the classic song that I used to always play for her when she walked in, to the. What was that place called? The Mallard. It was called the Mallard Room. We called it affectionately the Duck Room. Um, um, and I got, boy, I, I, I convinced them to get a trio. I did so much playing there, and it was, I loved it. I mean, you can imagine playing jazz and skiing all day. <clears throat> not, not so awful. And everybody that worked there was a fantastic skier. So the other thing about Whistler is you would never, like, if you were sitting at a bar, you'd never turn to the guy if they said, well, do you know how to ski? You, you kind of would say, well, kind of. You don't want to say that you're a great skier or anything because you could be sitting beside some Warren Miller dude or uh, that. Uh, <clears throat> so, and then you go skiing with the next, them the next day and they just, you know, leave you in their, in their tracks, literally. And it was a lot of fun. Um, sadly, one of the guys I skied a lot with died uh, last year of brain cancer, Jack and uh, he wor worked in the Mallard, and he was also a bartender in Whistler, and he got me into backcountry skiing, and we had some amazing backcountry ski trips. So I, st I still have my skins you'd put on the bottom of the ski, <clears throat> and then a binding so that you could, like a cross-country ski, and that's called uh, working for your turns, baby, because we would spend a whole day hiking up some mountain, and you're pretty much then you're just got all your like just your ski pants on because you're sweating and go up to and it's just the best run you've ever had in your life because it's like nobody's been there you spend a whole day working up getting up that hill so jack always thinking of you man <clears throat> yeah that's where i met laura fairweather in that lounge <clears throat> she was the uh what is the pr director there i think you were laura uh you were the anyway so that was that's my little anecdote about <clears throat> Blood will flow when flesh and steel are one, drying in the color of the evening sun. Tomorrow's rain will wash the stains away, but something in our minds will always stay. Perhaps this final act was meant to clench a laughter argument nothing comes from violence and nothing ever will for all those bones beneath an angry star 
Lest we forget how fragile we are On and on the rain will fall Like tears from the star Like tears from the star And on and on the rain will fall How fragile we are Blood will flow, with flesh and steel are one, dried in the color of the evening sun. Tomorrow's rain will wash the stains away, but something in our minds will always stay. Perhaps this final act was meant to quench a lifetime's argument. That nothing comes from violence and nothing ever will For all those born beneath an angry star Let's forget how fragile we are On and on the rain will fall Like tears from the star Fragile. We're all fragile. We're definitely knowing that we're fragile now more than ever. Fragili. <clears throat> Thanks for the applause. I love the applause. I can only see, uh, what is it, uh, when you guys put the hearts and stuff. So I have to say, as I say, every time I do this, this really fills my spiritual cup. I love doing this. And during the day, I get so many texts and messages and even phone calls say people think, you know, how much we really appreciate you doing this. I love doing this as well. So as much as you love listening to this, I love delivering this. Uh, because, you know, this, this is what I, I think, you know, everybody has a reason why they're on the planet. Uh, definitely, I would say, this is mine. Um, <clears throat> this, is, this, is my, this is my comfort place. Well, this isn't on my sailboat, of course, but this, is, this has always been my home. This is my home. To, sorry to interrupt this. Uh, we bring this. We interrupt this program, as they say, because I got to. I got to check an email. I got to see if uh, if they sign this thing back. So I'm just going to go here. Let's see. Let's see.
Let's see, refresh this. Like real estate and live music. I'll hasn't signed the pack. Wow, somebody sent me $25 on PayPal. Wow, that's a good tip. Thanks. I love it. <clears throat> Feeling the love there. Not that money is love, but it doesn't hurt, baby. Uh, okay, I don't see a sign back yet. Ooh, so I guess, you know. Um, there you go. I think I'm going to pour myself a glass of wine, and then I'm going to sing my, this next song. Uh, how about making a rendition of Mustang Sally in the middle of road by the pretenders? Middle of the road. Or middle of the road by the pretenders. I don't... <clears throat> Mustang Sally, I could do that. I mean, I could say, John, I find it kind of a cheesy tune. I mean, that's a great party song. Great blues tune. Uh, didn't I play that when we were at the resort? I don't know. I can't remember. Everybody was too stoned and drunk on rum when that happened. Uh, so, I'm going to play this song, a signature piece, thanks, Laura, uh, that I always played in the Mallard Room. I learned, a, actually, I, I really honed my, uh, my stuff playing there. I played there for so many years that I, uh, hey, Russ, uh, I need my glasses to read some of this, that I, I, I got a lot of these tunes under my fingers. So, hang tight, glass of wine coming up for Dave. And maybe everybody out there, if your glass is empty, your uh, quarantini, you might want to uh, fill up again. Suggesting, I'm not suggesting you go out and buy this wine because I wouldn't put it on my uh, top ten list. But, but I just bought it because it said crew and it has a picture of a boat on it, you know. So I thought, well, it must be absolutely fantastic. And it's not. So, uh, oh, sipping tequila. Look at you, Elizabeth. Andre t sent me a picture this morning of your bar. Uh, <laughs> you guys are well set up. Um, very well, well, here comes, uh, oh, thanks, bud. Uh, very well set up. If, uh, if the world does all end, uh, everybody, <laughs> everybody's going to Andre and Elizabeth's house. You should see the picture of the bar he sent me. They're not. Why, why, why go out if you've got that going on? And tequila is really nice. If you get a really high quality tequila, and that's what Elizabeth is having now, uh, <clears throat> The, it's really, it's a really good drink to sip. It's very, very smooth. like the really good tequila is wonderful. So, oh yeah, I was going to do Fly Me to the Moon. Uh, cheers. That's for Laura. Fly Me to the Moon. You know, clink, clink. Um, uh, amigo. Si. Sí. people with a lot of pedios.
Let me to the moon Let me play Among the stars Let me see what spring Is like on Jupiter And Mars In other words Hold my hand In other words Darling, kiss me Why don't you fill my heart with song Let me sing forevermore You are all I long for All I worship and I adore In other words, I'll be true In other words, darling, I love you yeah, here we go. sing forevermore You are all I love for All I worship and I adore In other words And I love you In other words, darling Oh yeah In other words, darling In other words, darling ending. save this video afterwards. Yesterday, the video didn't save, and uh, I think that's because I had a connection problem. Hopefully tonight, I don't have. Uh, Andrew, my tip jar is in the description, I think I put it. I, put, I think I put it in the description. You'll have to look for the description on my page. I mean, I could post it here. I'd have to look for it. Uh, I guess I should pull it up. Um, see if I got an email from my friends, my condo buyers. No, no, maybe they didn't sign it back and were SOL. Uh, let's see. Cali Hurts, that a victory. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. I, I still could happen, though. Still could happen. Okay, so. Let's see. John, that's so kind of you, John. Where? Uh, okay, I'm going to send you guys this information here. Let's see if I can pull it up. No, that's not working. I'll see if I can find it for you. Um, um, okay, here it is. Okay, so I don't know if I can find it. It's a little technical. Uh, but it's fun to play with all this stuff, though. Ah, uh, damn it! Or how do you where do you log in? Maybe I'll try that. Okay, so here, copy link. Here's my tip jar. I'm sending it to you guys. Here it comes. You ready? Thanks, Richard. There you go. The piano tip jar. Just setting it. Bang. I really tried making a fun icon. Uh, let's see. Did that? I don't know if you saw it there. Yeah, it's up there. 
Uh, let me see if I can pin it. Pin comment. Oh, look at that. Somebody knows more than I do here. Uh, did you get your Tylenol? No, Andre. I didn't, Andre, Andre, I didn't get Tylenol, but you're not going to believe what I found. Um, early in the show, when the mic was not doing so well, look what I bought today at some, you know, side street pharmacy, which I think nobody goes to. I don't know why everybody gravitates to sh shoppers. I've never felt so bacteria free in my life. I got hand sanitizer, masks, mm. latex gloves, nitrile actually. They're, I was told they're better. Now, we use these all the time, working on the boats at this time of year with epoxy. I think I've destroyed most of my wardrobe with epoxy. And I even bought this little uh, lovely germ attack. Germ attack. I think everybody, if you walk around with that, everybody thinks you're totally cool now. Got the germ attack. And also, I've got a lot of isopropyl in the house and on the boat. I don't know why. I just think somebody's going to, like, have a serious injury any time and then just throw all this stuff on it, and it's supposed to desanitize it. You can. I was, I, I was told that if you, you know, mix this with, with aloe vera and oils, then you can make your own hand sanitizer. So I was going to you know, look up, you know... I don't think I've ever been so bacteria and free in my, I've never washed my hands so much in my life, but you know, I mean, I've got anxiety like everybody else. I'm trying not to go up. Uh, so, you know, <clears throat> their tea tree oil is great. That's what Deirdre says. Thanks, Deirdre. Did uh, the oil is, okay, I'll keep that in mind. Carla Bosaki. Hi, Carla. Is she here? Um, let's see you scrolling up. See who else is here. So nice to see you. Uh, da, da, da. Okay, so anyways, there we go. Shut that down. And inbox. Got to see. I'm just got to check something here. There we go. All right, we're. Uh, uh, nope, I don't see anything. <clears throat> Well, I'm not sure what's happening there. Okay. So, uh, back to the game here. Janet is here. Hi, Janet. Edward. Hi, Edward. Richard Birch. Hi, Richard. Um, Black Orpheus. God, I haven't played that in a, lo a long time. Let me look that up. That's a great song. But I can't even remember how it goes. It's how long I've played it. Uh, that's, I'll put up the jazz tab, so, um, what am I looking for? The real book. So, all jazz musicians, we all played off of a fake book called The Real Book. If you play jazz, you'll, you'll, anybody who plays jazz knows The Real Book, and now it's all on a tablet, so it looks like that. I don't know if you could see it, but it's just the chords, right? They, they never have, um, the melody, that's, what, so it's just the chords. Pretty, like it's just a, a chord sheet, bye bye Blackbird, Black Orpheus. <coughs> well, that's let's see another little cool. Black, Black, B L A C K, Black Orpheus, Black Coffee, Black. Oh, is it not here? Um, that's really odd. Or the. I'm surprised it's not here. Um, it could be in one of my jazz books. Let me go up now, but then it, I'll look for it in my jazz book. Let me hang on a sec. So here, this is, uh, I mean, that's a classic. Uh, that's what, it, this is actually has some of them. This one, no, it doesn't have melody. Um, black Ice. Black Narcissus, Flame of No, I guess there's nothing black in that. In there. Uh, I guess, I don't know what my real book is. But here, see if it's in this one. Look at me, I'm hunting for a song for you. Black Orpheus. Um, mm, I don't think it's going to be in this one. I don't see, I don't see it. Beauty and the Beast. So all the classic jet black and blue. No, I don't know what that song was. Black Coffee. Uh, body and soul. No, nope, not in there. But, uh, you know, what is a good song like that? I'm just thinking, hi, Martin. Um, 
that is. This song, I think it, this was Wave, Black Orpheus is a boss over to him. I, I will look for that because now I'm really curious as to how that goes. called Wave. I think Carlos Jobim, who is a very famous Brazilian artist, uh, he died, I think, just a few years ago. He wrote that. He wrote one of the most... So Brazil, Cuba, I mean, those are the two countries that have the most incredible musicians and artists and probably are the most skilled at rhythm. And I feel like such a newbie in their presence all the time. They, they're just so... They're such incredible artists. So, one, Stan Getz recorded that famous piece that uh, Carlos Jubin wrote, uh, Girl from Eponema. That Stan Getz recorded that, and I think it was the greatest. I don't know how many. Um, oh, somebody asked me to play Happy Birthday for. Let me just look. Well, we'll probably. We'll play. What? Um, somebody just sent me a text message. I wonder if it's my client. Uh, let's see. Let's open this up and see. Talking about Carlos Jobim. Come on. Sometimes messages are just so slow. Thanks, Richard. Okay. Come on, hurry up, man. Uh, well, let's be a part of the way. Okay. Okay. Well, are you signing it back? Thanks. I'll be going. All right, we'll see what happens. There we go, a little bit of drama there, real estate drama in the midst of this. And leave it at that. I got these, this is something new this evening, these really multicolored sparkly things on the screen that stay up there. So going for a sushi when this is over. Can we go for a sushi when this is over? Sure, where are we going for a sushi? 
Um, I haven't eaten anything yet, so yeah, sushi would be good. So let me think. I'm thinking of a song. I'm, I am mentally distracted because I am kind of working on that a deal for my client. I sang to the listing agent. I'm having some crew red wine. Yeah, so Carlos Duvim, check out uh, Stan Getz, Girl from Empanema. Fantastic song. Now I just thought of a really cool song that I haven't played in a while uh, by Chris Isaacs. Remember he had a television show that was real awesome. I loved it. Oh yeah, and for and it's Robert's birthday, so oh yeah, I gotta do happy birthday for who was it for? Why are my glasses? I can't read this. Maybe I should have just increased the screen size. Let's do that. Peter Gabriel. You know, I I love Happy birthday, Lita. So Lita and Robert, I know Rob Wessel, who always wears, probably wearing shorts and a t-shirt now. All, no matter what season, Rob's wearing shorts. So, and it's Rob's birthday, and it's Lita's birthday. So we're all going to sing, everybody at home is going to sing happy birthday simultaneously. We're all going to sing happy birthday to them both. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Rob and Lena. Happy birthday, Rob and Lena. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Now, Rob's going to survive forever. You know why? Because he brews his own beer. That's right. And wine, I believe, as well. So he's in, uh, he's in good supply, I think. So the song I was thinking at, yeah, Chris Isaacs. Um, let me go back to this. Let's see. There we go. There's the song I'm thinking of. This is such a cool song. This had the hottest girl in the video when it came out. I mean, I've always wondered what happened to that girl. Elvis Costello, Alice. I don't know a lot of Elvis Costello tunes. Peter Gabriel sounds good. Um, Moonlight in Vermont, that's another good one. Allison, don't know the song Allison. I could look, you know, I always go back the next day and look at all these suggestions. And I will look these up. Sing happy, I did that happy birthday and Rob. So let's see. Here is this song. I wish I wrote this song because, you know, some relationships, the other person, it's never you, uh, it just, you know, kind of can destroy you. But you always come out of it. I always love that line. Nobody ever dries from a broken heart. So as tough as some relationships are, you know, you still come out, you're still alive. Love that, you know. This is an awesome song, though. So I was wondering, who, you know, what, what's, what relationship inspired this song? Strange what desire will make people do. And I never dreamed I'd meet somebody like you. And I never dreamed I'd meet somebody like you. And I wanna fall in love with a girl like you.
to play to make me feel this way what a wicked thing to do to let me dream of you and what a wicked thing to say you never felt this way what a wicked thing to do to make me dream of you and I girl like you and and I don't want to fall in love with you and I still want to fall in love, just not with you. Chris Isaac. And yeah, somebody just wrote, um, that is, um, yeah, I'm a member at the Toronto Multi Hall Cru Cruising Club. Uh, that was uh, Wicked, uh, what was, somebody just mentioned that movie that was song was in. It's, it's a fantastic film. I, of course, I just thought of the guy uh, that was in it. Pur uh, purple? No, it's it's. I think it's from the '80s. That movie. Wild Heart. There we go. <clears throat> Nicholas Cage. Yeah, great. If you haven't seen everybody, everybody's got time for a movie now. Check it out. Hopefully, it's on Netflix. It's a great film. It's really cool. It's dark. It's awesome. So let's see. So when this offer gets signed back, I'm waiting. Then uh, I have to shut the show down because I have to deal with that uh, little piece of business. It's still not there, but it's apparently coming. I better tell my client to stay awake because I'm going to be sending it to him. Uh, can you send? I will. Real estate and piano at the same time. How much fun is that? Do you really want to buy this condo for your mother? What's happening in the market now? We really don't know. I can tell you there's still a multiple offers and holdbacks from time to time but maybe only serious buyers are out there right now you can do an open house and I would maybe say private viewing wear latex gloves so you don't get full of bacteria that cause problems not just for you but anybody else so everybody play safe wear latex wash your hands comb your hair might as well shine your shoes cause your hands are so clean so uh, let's see she just texted me again that's my little real estate song Kate Bush Tori Amos, you know, Tori Amos, man. She had so many dysfunctional relationships and she was mad at the world. Every song she wrote was, a, you know, uh, was, you know, angry. And, uh, but I, I do like her music. I don't know any of it and I haven't heard it in a long time. Kate Bush, I love Kate Bush as well. And I'm going to check my messages, see what that was all about, the last one. <clears throat> Somebody joining us online. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, I could be. Hopefully that's not my, my, uh, not my client. That's good. Okay. So anyway, um, let's see. Do you have any, let's go back to our, let's go back to our, um, David Lynch movie. Yeah, we are in a David Lynch movie or Danny Boyle. I, I agree with you, Janet. Jeanette. So let me look for a song. Somebody talked about going for sushi. Yeah, if there's any sushi out there, let me know. I'd love some sushi. Because um, I haven't had dinner yet either, like just like you. Let's just close that. Okay, so I'm thinking of another song here. Okay, so... Uh, any any suggestions out there? The ones I don't, so far, I don't know Kate Bush. I have, have to confess. Let's see. I'm looking at my list here. This is a nice song. This is a Paul McCartney song. And if you're ever going to write a song <clears throat> about a woman that you're totally in love with, I cover the waterfront. Somebody asked uh, that uh, before. I should learn that. Uh, you know, I, I I should look that song up because I don't know how that goes at all. But I'm gonna I'm gonna go over this. Uh, it's not that I know to Peter Gabriel. I don't know any. So he sings much higher. So you know, I always have Tom Waits. Let's do some Tom Waits. I can do Tom Waits. Uh, so I'm gonna do this song first, and then I'm gonna do Tom Waits song. Something in the way she moves attracts me like no other lover. Something in the way she woos me. I don't want to leave her now. You know, I believe and how. Somewhere in the sound she knows And I don't need no other lover Something in the style she shows me I don't want to lose her now Asking me, will my love grow? And I don't know now. I don't know. You stick around and let it show. I believe in how you're asking me will my love grow and I don't know now and I don't know you're asking when it show and I don't know now Something in the way she moves And all I have to do is think of her Something in the style she knows me I don't want to 
want a loser now You know I believe in how Paul McCartney, something. Like if you gotta be totally in love with somebody to write a song like that, or you just love every part of them. To me, and I think that, you know, I've always, I've got some concepts, not that I'm Johnny relationship, concepts on the idea of love, and I think that song really, to me, defines being in love with somebody, that you just, you soak up every part of them. So, love is a good thing to think about. I think it kind of feels like the whole world has been put on pause. Now let's just stop this for a minute, realign everything and figure out because, you know, what we want, what do we want to do. So that's the upside to this whole thing. Everybody is like forced meditation, forced slowing down. It's like Eckhart Tolle took over the world and said, slow, stop, slow down, you move too fast. That's another good song. Um, so Tom Waits, I want to look, this is Good Tom Waits song. I gotta find it. I'm just gonna look up the artist, then I'll find it. And then I gotta remember how it how it goes. Tom Waits. There we go. There's Tommy. Fantastic. Um, okay, I have to put my glasses on. I gotta, you know, I'm at that age, man. Ellie Ray. Hi, Ellie Ray. My voiceover. Uh, coach at one time, she got me into voiceovers. How's my wife, Ellie? Ellie, of course, a huge talent in the voiceover industry. Nice to see you. Glad you could make it. And uh, so now I'm looking for this. Uh, God, Tom Waits wrote so much music. You should have a scotch on the side of the piano, and I should be smoking a big cigar or a cigarette to do Tom Waits. You got to get this voice going. Uh, where is where is the piano is drinking? I mean, there's so many sounds I can't even find it. Oh, this is a this is a this is a song Tom Waits song that I know, but I'm gonna look up the other one anyways. Another great song. It, Tom Waits writes he's he's like a novelist. It's like Billy Joel like that as well. Like they're telling a story. You can just put yourself. Love you hard too, baby. That goes out to L.A. Um, <clears throat> you just, you, it, they paint a scene, you know? It's, a, it's like watching a film. You're going to have to drink more to do that song. You're right, Janet. Hope I don't fall in love with you. Cause falling in love just makes me blue. Well, the music's plays and you display your heart for me to see. I had a beer and now I hear you're calling out to me And I hope I don't fall in love with you And the music's playing, you display your heart for me to see I wonder, should I offer you a chair? Sit down with this old clown, he'll take that frown and break it. Before the evening's gone away, I think it, we could make it. I think I hope I don't fall in love with you. Wow, Don Sadaway, wow, I can't believe you're here. Well, I can see that you are lonesome, 
just like me And it's being laid You'd like some company Well I turn around To look at you And you look back at me The guy you're with Is up and split The chair next to you Is free And I hope I don't Fall in love There's funny things inside a man These old calm cat feelings you don't understand I turn around to look at you, you die a cigarette I wish I had the guts to bum one, but we never met I hope I don't fall in love with you Now it's closing time, the music fading now Last call for drinks, I'll have another sound I turn around to look at you, you're nowhere to be found I search a place for your lost face, guess I'll have another round And I just think that I fell in love with you Ladies and gentlemen, I have to call it a night because I do have to deal with uh, a client. And I had so uh, much fun. We had 70 people. We're up to 70 people tonight. I'm going to be back tomorrow. I'm going to save this video so you could watch it. Please share. Uh, tell your friends about it. I'm going to commit to coming to the piano every night at 8 p.m. and seeing you know how this organically grows and unfolds. And I really love it. It fills my and feel free during the day to reach out and make song suggestions because then uh, I can uh, work on that. Uh, Ellie Ray will be back tomorrow. Harry Chapin. I love Harry Chapin. Uh, I really do. Uh, or what? Taxi. Or Tenth Taxi. I love that song too. I'll come and play those songs tomorrow. Uh, but my other job is calling me. Yes, even at 10.30 because, you know, real estate, so we're not like uh, people that, uh, what did I see that, uh, are, are, you know, are parrot uh, beak trimmers or something. I don't know why they came out with that. So, anyways, thank you. From my heart to yours, thank you for joining me here. And we really love performing for everybody. And we're all going to get through this together. Practice social distancing. Take care of yourself. Wash a lot. Don't be dirty. And uh, let's stay connected. And and uh, reach out during the day. Say hello. FaceTime something. And uh, it would be great. I've, I've really connected with a lot of people. Don Sadaway I saw just came on. Uh, Renata, you're welcome. My pleasure. I saw Don Sadaway. I went to school with her. She's a fantastic opera singer. Now teaches music. And uh, it was really awesome to see. So I love seeing some of the names that come up, people from my past, and it's really great. Uh, so I really love doing this. So hello from New Brunswick. Fantastic. And great musicians out there. So everyone, have yourselves a good night. Relax with the cocktail. And I'll be checking in tomorrow night. Hope to see you all back. Please share this. Let other people know about it. And let's uh, see how many people we can get uh, to jump on this thing. Okay? As they say in Dutch, goeie night.